Hello, Yarnabees. How are you today? It's Sandy and it's my birthday. Yes, it is. It is my 50 something birthday today. <laughs> oh, what a day it has been. It is 7.30 p.m. I think. Yeah. And it has been interesting to say the least. Memorable birthday for sure. Um, usually I don't make a fuss over my birthday. I just kind of like, yeah, it's just another day, whatever. But George decided that he was going to try and make it as special as he could in George style. So I woke up first thing, well, I actually slept in, got out of bed at around 10 and I woke up to these. The card was perfect, um, of course, and the flowers are beautiful. And so, you know, I'm not a big person, like, an, uh, I'm not going to say I'm not a big fan. I just, I don't sit there and, and say, oh, I have to have flowers, you know, on special occasions. I'm just not that girl. Uh, but getting them is definitely uh, special when I do get them. And usually I get them on my birthday, not on Valentine's Day, but I get them on my birthday. <laughs> so, um, so I got those and then George says, do you want to go out for breakfast? I was like, yeah, okay, let's do that. So we went out for breakfast and, uh, it was good. It was really good. We went to the pantry restaurant, um, I got, what did I get? I got, what did I get? I can't remember now. I, anyways, I got a hash of some sort. Not my thing. Uh, corned beef hash, that's what I got. And it's not, it wasn't the normal corned beef hash that I would usually get, you know. Um, not the way I'm used to anyway. It had barbecue sauce in it and it had um, sweet onions, like caramelized onions in it. I was just like, yeah, not a fan, but that's okay. It still filled the gap. Um, and then we took Bailey for a walk and we decided to go to Neck Point Beach. And it's almost like an island on itself in itself. Um, and it's a really pretty area. Some of the pictures that I took with my kids modeling some of the stuff I've made, that's, that was at Neck Point. Um, and so we took Bailey, our dog, and we went for a walk. Hey, Yarnabies. So George and I are out for a walk on my birthday. We're down at Neck Point Beach in British Columbia. And there's Crochet Beach. Can you see the crane? Can I see the crane? The crane is right there. Oh, let's see if I can see zoom in. Can catch our crane. I can't see. Right down by the water. Because it's the same color as the rocks, it may not show up very well. Got him? Uh, yep, there he is. Oh. There he is. It's a crane. Tide is low, so they go down by the water and they pick at shells and mussels and stuff and eat them. He looks like he's hunting. He's very intense. <laughs> so growing up, this was our pastime here. And that was rolling a rock over and seeing if we had any crab. You can see we get these little crabs. I don't know if you can see them. We've got oysters. This is an oyster. Oh, there's a little crab. Right here. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Here we go. Hang on. It's. <laughs> I think he's running away from me. Come here. See? A little crab. Tiny little crab. 
Okay, you can go now. <laughs> we used to flip the rocks over and chase all the crab. It was fun when we were kids. <laughs> you can read it. We've discovered some an ancient sign from the old people from years ago. <laughs> Vikings were here. <laughs> I walk these trails, stand on these sandy beaches, watching the tides come and go with loved ones, and we always walk together. Aww. Sign Ragnar the Viking. Yeah, right. <laughs> Look, my name's in it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> We found an elf house. Isn't that cute? And considering that there's bees there, I'm hoping that there's not a wasp's nest in there. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> so you open it up and there's toys and stuff in there for kids to go and get what they want and then leave something behind. And here's another one. Dream a little dream. Can you open it up and see if anything's in there. All my hopes and dreams. You know it can't be good when you see dark stuff dribbling out of it. <laughs> How do you open it? A little Thing there, I guess. No, oh, no maybe not. Nothing. This one doesn't open. Oh, it's a trip. Hey, look. Oh, I'm getting tied up by the dog. In a mushroom cap. And there's another one. It doesn't open either. It doesn't open either. Oh. Well, that's not fun. <laughs> that's not fair. So that was fun um and it was such a beautiful day such a beautiful day it was nice and warm the temperature said it was 22 but it was definitely not 22. it was way warmer than that i mean there was a, a wind chill oh excuse me oh my i guess i'm more tired than i thought <laughs> um but it was definitely one of those days where you can kind of get a sunburn in the wind uh, or wind burn. So, um, yeah, we Bailey enjoyed it. She hasn't been out near enough. So that was good. And I got my steps in for the day. So that was good, too. Uh, and then we came home and we sat for a little while. I did a little crocheting and then we got ready to go for dinner. <laughs> uh, we went to Gina's restaurant and it's a Mexican restaurant here in Nanaimo. And it was quite interesting. I'll show you a clip. <laughs> Hi, Yerna Bees. It's me and Crochet Bee. <laughs> So we are at Gina's restaurant in Nanaimo. It's a Mexican restaurant. I've been here maybe once, I think. Um, and it's outside, of course, because it's, you know, the COVID protocol. But it's a really nice day. It's sunny, it's not raining, yay! So we are just waiting for our food. We've got our little snack plate here. <laughs> So, oh. No. oh, this is for you. Oh, I have to. Mm. 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 Oh, good. <laughs> so, anyway, I'll show you what we get when we're with our food in a minute. 
Okay, what did you get? Okay, so we're at Gina's. So if you're at Gina's, it has to be margarita because it's Mexican, right? So and this one is really, really sour. I already tried it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sour. <laughs> Only real men can drink and drink like that. <laughs> Fruity, you know, women's drink. <laughs> Sangria. Must have sangria. Love you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Code for I'm not really sure. <laughs> okay. So my first catastrophic failure. I just spilled my sangria all over myself. <laughs> and I haven't even had a drink yet. Wow. Yeah. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> but it is really good. Oh, did you tell them where we're going after dinner for your birthday? Oh, yeah. So I conned George into taking me to Michael's to buy a couple more balls of the creme cotton. To celebrate her birthday. <laughs> to celebrate my birthday. I said, can you buy me a couple more balls of creme cotton? <laughs> so. <laughs> so, yeah. Yay. <laughs> Now that's a drink. <laughs> Long Island iced tea. Yay me. <laughs> so you know that you're in a bad spot when you've got seagulls flying. Oh, now they're not here. Where'd they go? There was a bunch of seagulls. And the sky is blue, but it seems like it's raining. <laughs> We're going like, oh, uh, okay, now the they're, no, really they're nowhere warm. to be found now. But and The rain is really warm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, um, are we going to get pooped on? <laughs> oh my God, you guys, you're not going to believe this. So, I get my dessert. Dessert. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. <laughs> the waitress goes to put my dessert down drops a whole glass of water on me. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> uh, I don't know what it is, <laughs> but it's hilarious. There's water everywhere. I'm soaked. I've never laughed so hard. <laughs> but it washed all the bird poop off. Oh my God. It was too funny. She was just horrified. And I was just like, don't worry about it. It's okay. And she's like, <laughs> So, yeah, uh, I, <laughs> I got my drink, right? I got a sangria with white wine and I, as I'm videoing, I promptly spill it down my shirt. <laughs> Not all of it, but enough of it that I felt like I peed myself. Um, I was like, oh, really? Like, holy cow. And then we're sitting there eating our dinner and there's seagulls everywhere. And I'm going, oh no, this is not good. <laughs> Luckily, nothing happened. Uh, we didn't get pooped on. <laughs> so um, then I ordered a Long Island iced tea, like you saw, and it was massive. And I tell you, the first sip it was like, oh, it was like, okay, that has some alcohol in it. So <laughs> I'm a little buzzed, to say the least. <laughs> uh, I'm not used to drinking hard alcohol. So I think that had a little bit of rum in it, just a little bit. Uh, so anyways, I get that. And then we order dessert. Dessert comes and the waitress knocks over the glass of water all on my lap. <laughs> I was just like, what? And she did not know what to do. She was so frazzled. She was, she was trying to like 
oh my god and she's trying to pat my pants and she didn't have a cloth in her hand or anything and she was just like oh 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 i'm so sorry and i was like it's okay it's just water it's okay i'll dry my pants were soaked and I was like it's okay <laughs> she's like it's not okay I'm so sorry and I'm like it it wasn't my drink so that's a good thing <laughs> and so she goes running and getting a couple cloths and there's water all over the table and it's like she's wiping it up and I'm laughing hysterically and she's just like absolutely appalled and I just, I shook it off. I was just like, whatever. So, oh, excuse me. Wow, I am tired. Today was a day. <laughs> so, um, anyways, she she's trying to blot my pants. And I'm like, it's okay, really. And she's like, then she realizes, oh, maybe I should not be touching you like that. Like, I'm so sorry. And then she was all apologetic, going, I'm so sorry. I was like, it's okay. <laughs> so we finished our, our um, dessert. And then I realized that was not my dessert. I, I thought about getting what I ate, but then I changed my mind and I was going to get a brownie with caramel sauce on it. And I said to George, I says, this is the wrong dessert. <laughs> He's like, oh, that's right. He says, do you think we should tell her? She's having a bad enough night. <laughs> I says, no, let's, nah. So we're sitting there paying. George is paying on the debit thing. And she, he goes, I gotta tell her. <laughs> I'm like, no, no. So he goes and says, you know, um, she's like, so it, was everything okay? And I was like, yeah, everything was fine. And George says, yeah, except you gave her, her the wrong dessert. <laughs> she's like, what? She says, I, and I looked at her and I says, I, I, kind of ordered the brownie and she goes oh with that caramel sauce oh no <laughs> I was like it's okay and she's like this is a disaster and it's your birthday <laughs> I says it's a memorable one <laughs> so, so she took the price of the dessert off she didn't have to but she did and I was just like holy cow and then I came we came home and I was just like I gotta video this <laughs> like I gotta do the video because this was oh and then we're driving home or I told George I says there's one thing that you can get me for my birthday and he's like okay and I says you can take me to Michael's and buy me a couple balls of yarn he's like oh no I'm like yeah so we go to Michael's and I picked up a couple balls of yarn Oop. and they're somewhere <laughs> um, I picked up some more of the eco the eco cotton the white um, the heck's it called eco brights the white cotton I picked up a couple more of those and a couple more of the just regular um, yarn so we're driving home and the phone, my phone rings and I'm like, who the heck is this? And I look and it's my good pal, Sandy Duda from left is right crochet. I like, Oh, it's Sandy. So I go to hit the answer button. I get so flustered. I was thinking I was hitting the speaker button. I ended up hitting the end call button. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> so, so I'm like, what else? <laughs> so she calls me back and she's like, sings me happy birthday, right? And I'm almost in tears. And, and so we talked for a minute. I told her what happened with dinner and everything. And then I said, I, I hung up on her by accident and she was laughing. And she's like, okay, my sweet, I'm going to leave. I'm going to go now and I'm going to have a drink in your honor. And I'm going to go and spill a glass of water on my pants for you. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm just like, what are you going to do, right? Like, <laughs> so that was sweet. I mean, thank you, Sandy. You made the rest of my night. I mean, I just love you so much. 
um, it was totally unexpected and it just, it really made my night. <laughs> oh man. I did that twice today. My daughter tried calling me. They called me from a different number. I thought it was a, like a crank call or something. So I went end call <laughs> and then they called back and the guy, the, her friend goes, you know, I'm a little insulted that you hung up on me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize it was you. He's like, oh, my feelings are a little hurt. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, you know what? It's time to go home and it's time to relax and just go, you know, whatever. It <laughs> just, today was so much fun and it was, you know, so much unexpected stuff. And so, yeah, it was a good day. It was a really good day. I haven't had that much fun in quite a while quite a while and you're gonna hear george i asked him to put his headphones on while he's watching the fights uh and he can't hear how loud he is so yeah <laughs> so anyway um yeah so <sighs> what else uh i got a couple of whips I actually i have probably about four or five whips um, but the one I'm working on right now is this one. Hopefully it's going to work out. I'm using that new, um, Karen skinny cake that I got the other day that I showed you guys. And I'm using the, what <laughs> I'm using the, the white eco cotton and it actually made the skinny cake oops look like a scrap blanket or a scrap gan look at that isn't that cool i really didn't think it was going to turn out like that and this oops this is actually going to be a sweater i think it's awfully wide though, now that i'm looking at it but then i am kind of wide <laughs> so but yeah it's uh i really like the way it's turning out it's really pretty <clears throat> so but you look at the difference in the color it's like holy i just can't even believe the white would make that much difference so i'm really excited to see how this is going to look when it's done um yeah really pretty uh what else i think that's it i think that's all everything uh, I am making a couple of things that I can't show you because they're going to be gifts. Uh, and then I've got this big adventure coming up that I can't tell you about. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you'll have to watch out for that. Bailey got some new treats today. She's happy as heck. Aren't you, Bailey? Yeah. Yeah, she got a haircut. She's all happy now because, man... When it gets warm out, she can't handle having her coat on. She just can't handle it. And then she freezes for a few days because she can't handle not having her coat on. Uh, so, yeah, it's kind of weird. Anyway. Oh. Um, oh, tonight. Billy has her. Oh, no. No, no, no. It's next weekend. Next Saturday. Billy Crafty Floridian is having um, her final... I believe it's her final video for our our gifts of love for Sharon. And I think she's going to do it. I think she's going to pay off Sharon's wheelchair in that night. I am so excited. So excited. The last one she did, she did, um, uh, oh gosh, over $2,000. Yeah. And oh my gosh, it was so much fun to watch. I mean, I wasn't there. I watched the replay and man, I wish I had. I'm going to really try hard. I've got it in my timer. Uh, I'm going to be there next Saturday because I want a damn it doll. Um, so yeah, she she's done, done such a phenomenal job. Everybody that's done this has. But, you know, Billy's going to take it home. I think she's really going to take it home and she's going to do... The, the tail end and it's going to be paid off and then Sharon doesn't have to worry about anything anymore um, if you don't know what I'm talking about 
holy cow, uh, you really need to go and check out Billy Crafty Floridian um, and check out her video. Argus of Love started with a couple of Zoom people, um, Mama Swift and a few others, <clears throat> excuse me, and they started the Argus of Love and a few podcasters were doing um, fundraising and other podcasters were giving uh, stuff that she they could raffle off <clears throat> and it's been a great success. Sharon's wheelchair was upwards of twenty six to thirty thousand dollars for this specialized wheelchair and that in our Canadian government just couldn't pay for for some reason. But that's just another story. <clears throat> anyway, um, so all the podcasters got together and started doing this fundraising for her. And we are we are on the home stretch. We're going to get this thing paid off. And I can't believe we've done it so fast, so fast. Uh, I have a box of yarn that I am um, donating for one of the prizes. The last one that uh, Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet did, I raffled off a sweater. Uh, I got an email. The recipient did get it. and She's happy. So that's good. Um, so yeah, go check out Billy's channel uh, and be there next Saturday and get involved because Billy is raffling off a bunch of her, the stuff that she made as well as the prizes that, um it's five dollars a ticket twenty dollars for five tickets uh <clears throat> and it's billy has it all in in her last video but you need to paypal the money to mama swift and they will give you the um the tickets for the raffle for all the, the gifts I can't remember how many Billy has now, but she's got quite a few. Uh, so, yeah. So, it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait. Uh, and Sharon is just over the moon. Over the moon. She did a video. And, you know, I, I've been in the position when the yarn, yarn um, community got together and helped my sister. And I tell you, it's overwhelming. And... So saying thank you just is not enough. And that's why I was doing giveaways and um, stuff like that was to try and give back and to, you know, say thank you a little bit bigger uh, because it's hard. It's hard when you're in that position. You just don't know what to say because the overwhelming amount of love that comes to you is just something else. So uh, I am so happy to be involved in it and to help Sharon out. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling now. <laughs> I'm sure it's been 20 minutes, so I'm sure you guys are just going like, no, 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 no. okay, whatever. So, okay, I'm going to go and uh, stay tuned tomorrow for the shout out Sunday. And yeah, and I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Oh, and thank you all for all the birthday wishes and the well wishes and the, th the happy birthdays and everything that you gave me. Uh, it, it touches my heart. Thank you so, so much. I love you all. Mm -hmm. Yes, George, I love you too. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.